Why, hello there, my friends. Uh, this is an interesting video that I'm bringing you into for Tier 9, the Riga. So, this is a Russian cruiser that uh, I had been talking about in my previous video about the Talon. So, just to give everyone up to date uh, about this uh, video, uh, we would like to acknowledge our sponsors. So, first of all, we would like to talk about our sponsor, Stream Radio Stream Captains. They have been very supportive of my channel. They have done a lot of work for me in the past. They are a great uh, community to be with, as well as um, helping out for viewers and streamers like you and me. They are definitely uh, worthwhile, you know, checking out and helping out for your stream community. Definitely, I would recommend them and endorse them very highly. So, I would like to say a big thank you to, you know, Stream Radio Stream Captains for your support. So, anyways, uh, welcome aboard, folks. This is the Tier 9 uh, Riga video I'm going to be showing to you. So, as you can see, that I got the, well, the Riga um, in action right now. So, I'm sprung into action and decided to, this time, I'm going to go to a training room and actually show you up close and personal how much is of a rival warship that it is. So... <clears throat> There's a lot of things that you need to know about the Riga. The Riga has definitely some good arsenal at its disposal, and there's a lot of good things about it. 16.4 kilometer range in guns, 8.8 um, kilometer range in secondaries, AA range is pretty good at 6 kilometers. Um, if you deck it out correctly, then the guns on this, this thing is pretty decent for AP as well as HE. So we're going to demonstrate a couple of things. There's a couple uh, things, a few things that you need to know. The Riga, hands down, is a very, very interesting gameplay warship that you can use it for. And honestly, it's situational. But as you can see, that I'm pretty much uh, moved up close towards this Demoy and Yamato around the corner here. So I'm going to show you what's it like shooting against. Uh, the Yamato and the Moy here. So, as you can see, the Demoy is actually pretty broadside and is uh, pretty much, um, you know, open for citadels, which is pretty much open around here. So, if I were to fire, say, just below the waterline behind the second turret, fire all guns there, and you can notice they can score some good citadels there. Um, if you were to aim towards a little bit towards the back of the ship, which I'll move a little bit uh, up forward a little bit, so you can uh, aim towards here, the back end, fire again, and you can score some serious uh, good, you know, citadels on the Des Moines. Just remember that in this video, it's purposely designed, you know, for you to understand what is so good about playing the rigger. Now. A lot of things uh, about the Riga that uh, I can tell you uh, when you go and bow in towards the Yamato, for example, like this, a little bit angled, you can actually get score some ricochets on yourself. That is, makes uh, the players a bit upset against you. <laughs> but it is actually very uh, much a fair point and good reason for you to actually understand why you're trying to improve your own, you know, fighting skills. Um, the Yamato is a very interesting ship to be against, up against in, uh, in terms of, you know, either close or long range. But I will say this much, that the Yamato is a good ship to go up against with the Riga. Um, the Citadel is usually hanging around around about here, just underneath the, the, the bow guns of the Yamato. And you actually can fire some serious good hits on it. Notice that you can just score a good Citadel there. Well, that's not too bad. But what if you were to aim on the side of the ship over here? So let's just see what happens. Nothing really happens. Notice that the non-penetration that happens? So that is actually not really a good sign for you. All right, so let's just uh, move up a little bit again towards the rear, fire again. No, not happening. Why? Well, very simple actually. It's because that uh, you're at the wrong angle uh, when you're actually facing the rigger. 
um, to the Yamato. So it depends on the angle. The Citadels is usually in the front or right or rear of the ship, depending on the angle of your where your guns are. If you're angling your ship like that, like the Rigor as it is right now, you can score some serious damage. And I'm going to definitely put my gun side on here. And watch this momentarily. Notice that I am pretty much broadside to the Yamato. Alright, so here I am. Pretty much broadside, aiming there. Notice that you can score some good hits with the Citadels. It's actually pretty decent. I mean, the, the Yamato... <laughs> Or the, even that super battleship, the Satsuma, doesn't stand a chance against you. And you can actually easily take it out pretty quickly. Yamato players, even the Satsuma players, you know, people forget that the Riga definitely can punch a hole through the Yamato pretty easily. Despite of the Yamato having 18 inch guns, I know it's all good and all with bragging rights and stuff like that. But it's no good if you don't know how to play the ship correctly, alright? So, I have to admit, I was very cocky. And I was pretty upset that um, when I actually got destroyed by a rigger. And I didn't realize when I first played the rigger that this ship... <laughs> It definitely means business. It knows what it's doing. So here we are. We're actually, you know, going to town with um, the rigger to this Iowa. So I'm going to try and aim towards the side here of the Iowa around about a halfway point. Let's see what happens. Oh, some penetration hits. That's nice. Okay, we're getting closer now. Just under the 4 kilometer range. Let's go a little bit broadside. Okay, slow down. Aim, uh, need a second turret. Fire again. So you only get like five uh, penetrations. So you actually wonder to yourself, where is the Citadel in this thing? So basically you have this real kind of experiment. So keep shooting uh, until you figure out what the weak spot is on the Iowa. The IOR's uh, weak spot on the Citadel is usually on the waterline. Uh, but, you know, battleships can actually really punch a good solid hit on it. Uh, looks like uh, not uh, scoring some good hits on it with this uh, IOR at the moment. Despite I'm moving forward in front of it and actually putting myself in a good angling shot on it. And look at that. Not much damage at all. But anyway... Yeah, that's scoring some good serious damage on it. But hey, look at that. This War Sister. Um, this is a good ship. A good cruiser to go up against. Just like the Des Moines. You can aim in the, the middle or pretty much in the front. So we're going to aim for the front. Fire at it. You notice you're going to get a Citadel there. Now let's go towards the rear. Nothing there. But let's try again. I need penetration hits. Alright. So let's go wait for all the guns being made available for the broadside shot on this thing. Alright. So we noticed that um, all the ships that we wanted to go up against is actually all around here. So here we go. The more close I get, and you know, like it's more effective. Well, so I'm led to believe. But anyway, here we are. Okay, so here we go. Turning hard right just to get the guns around the other side. Let's slide in a one, slide in one quarter just to see what happens on an angle like this. You actually can cause, cause a citadel there. Pretty nice. Alright, let's just aim a little bit on towards the middle of the ship. It's, hot, it's like nearly dead in a way. And it's pretty easy to kill, you know, straight away. 
So here we are when you're on the eyewear on the left hand side over the right hand side of it. So let's see what happens. Nice penetration heads. Alright. So here is the Yamato. Yamato is just like purely broadside to you. And you said to yourself, I got this. You know, no doubt, hands down. Um, I'm going to really smash it, you know. The shots on that thing. Look at that. Five Citadels right underneath the second turret. It's like, look at how much I'm angled. If you're angled like that towards a Yamato with his guns pure broadside to you, he can't do much about it. And look at that. Bam. Dev strike. <laughs> it is ridiculous how, how you know powerful this figure is. But it's not ridiculous at all. It's all about you know smart gameplay. Now you can aim against the Montana here. And look at that. Second turret. Bam. This is why I love playing the you know the rigger so much. Um here we go again. Didn't get to sit it out that time, that's fine. But let's just aim for the the water line for this thing. Nope, nothing happened. Well, see, random citadel hit. So let's just wait for all guns to come into bear. All right, let's just slow down to one quarter. Notice how broadside I'm into the Montana. It's pretty broadside. But penetration hits on this thing is pretty solid in this thing. What I'm trying to uh, encourage you to do is that when you're aiming for these ships, is that you have to understand that you don't have to be totally broadside when you're fighting against these vessels. Um, honestly, when I saw these ships in action, I thought like I had to be literally always broadside to any big battleship to get some salt hits. The answer is no. Um, and it's becoming uh, known to me the reasons why. For example, most cruisers like the Russian line, for example, can actually are built to tank hits on the front of the ship. Notice that a couple of things about the rigger. Now I'm going to show you while I'm reversing. So, as you can see here, the rigger has uh, an interesting, you know, situation with its guns. So basically, it's the body is pretty arched, as you can see. And the one thing about it all is that you can actually use this as uh, as a to your advantage. And you notice that the body is pretty slope. Well, it's true. The body of the uh, ship is pretty slow, and you can actually use it. But anyway. So I backed up just uh, for a moment to see what happens at this range of 4.8 kilometers and firing it with the rear guns. Nothing happens. Okay, I'll fire again with my front guns. Well, I can still go score some good hits with it. Alright, so I'm going to deliberately turn the ship towards the bow of the rigger. So, show what happens. Notice that the body of the, the, the rigger is actually a little bit sloped towards the front. And it's designed to repel the shells. Alright, so here we go. The Montana is right there in front of me. And literally, I'm on the right angle for it. And I fired at the same spot, did not get uh, Citadels. But that's okay, it happens. And look at that, it is just like you know, pretty funny. It randomly occurs and it doesn't occur all the time. 
Oh well. Let's uh focus on and see if I can get on the other side. Alright, so here we go. Here is the Baltimore. Two good devastating hits. And then if you aim towards the front of it. If you aim it from the front of it, you actually can cause more havoc. If you aim towards the rear of the Baltimore. From an angle like this. You can't actually score solid hits on it. And actually, you score over pens only. That's actually pretty interesting though. So. Now, Citadel Blown. And look at that. It's actually pretty impressive. To see what you can do with it. And there goes the Baltimore. Now, I'm pretty much close to point blank range, range with the Montana. Look at the angle I'm on, like, you know, with my guns from shown towards my rear and also my front. It is pretty much, I'm dead on broadside with the target. If I was in a situation like I've had the teammate, uh, you know, acted like a decoy to keep uh, the Montana Bay, like uh, battleships or destroyers to try and, or cruisers to keep it, um, you know, uh, its guns towards the front away from you, you can actually sneak past and actually blast it towards the second, you know, in front of the turret over here. But, you know, this is just like examples of, you know, like, what it, it feels like, you know, in gameplay like this. So, anyways, my, the Iowa is uh, like alone there on its own, and it's the only target left over. So we may as well finish the job in this video. But I wanted to highlight a couple of things about understanding, you know, the basics of this general gameplay. A, the rigger can do a lot of damage in this battle. It's very situational. If you're in cyclone battles, best advice I can tell you is to take your time with it. Um, don't rush in, just take your time. Um, don't show your broadside because the broadside of this vessel is very weak. And I will show you um, how it feels like when you get closer and then towards um, different... Um, battle modes like for example in grand battles you'll be up against players that will be very aggressive the rigor can be played can be played aggressively but it's not highly recommended i would not recommend it um, but i would recommend it um, if you're doing in clan battles um, because like if you had a couple of rigors with you you can actually do a lot of massive damage in it but i don't think there's much um you know tier nine clan battles anymore like it used to be but anyway to give you an idea what the battle performance damage on that uh, rigger is actually pretty devastating over 400,000 nearly 500,000 damage and you can see like there's a lot of good solid hits that I've done with this thing um over 180 plus penetration you know with so non-penetration, over-penetration hits. Um, here's another thing. Um, aside from destroying six ships um, in a train room, but 42 citadels, that is ridiculous, but it's fantastic. And it can be well played overall. So that is the you know big um, difference with playing you know, a tier nine rigger in battle. Um, for example, I'll tell you more about this ship and in, in, in detail. So, what's the strength and weaknesses about this rigger? So, 
To cut the nut uh, uh, nutshell, the, the rigor is actually pretty solid, but the citadel is located pretty much in the middle and the bo in the bottom of the ship. But if you're a cruiser or battleship uh, firing at this thing, aim for the wall line. Um, you know, pretty much, you know, just underneath the second turret or towards the, the middle or the rear of the ship. Um, depending, like, if you're shooting from here, shooting from here, or shooting from this angle here, you will score devastating blows on this rigger. Definitely, hands down. Any cruiser, even another rigger, um, or Moskva, Petro, um, Des Moines, uh, Baltimore, um, Cleveland, and, uh, um, let's see, there are some tiers, eights, and... Um, nine warships like the Rune, the uh, Hindenburg, the um, Mains and Hippo, for example, they can really go against uh, the Riga. Um, not sure about the French cruisers, but I know that um, the Japanese uh, Tier 8 equi to equivalent to this one being, uh, I think it's the Mayoko, yeah, the Mayoko and the Mogami, sorry, the Mogami and the Ibuki and the Zao definitely can do it at close range. Um, basically, any ship can do it uh, correctly if you know where to aim it against the rigger. Um, one thing I love about the rigger is that it's got a good concealment, and I will say it's about 47 but it's pretty decent all around um uh, against uh sea air range and also um firing the main guns uh, in smoke so it's actually pretty decent all around with all the uh, specifications with by sea being 13.4 by air is about 7.8 just give or take about eight kilometers um Detectable range is two kilometers, and um, guns and smoke is 9.9, .9, which is pretty awesome. Uh, secondary armament is actually pretty decent at 8.8. .8. Um, also, main batteries is pretty good. Um, so, definitely, I would recommend this ship all around to you. And um, the funny thing is, the torpedo production and damage production of this thing is pretty bad for this ship, uh, being less than 20%. But I would definitely don't rush in with this ship and take your time with it. Now, I will show you uh, what kind of equipment that you can put together on this rigger. So, I will show you now. So, as you can see, you can actually get the, G the gunfire control system mod 2 uh, for the thing which actually increases the artillery plus 1 um, for the battery range to be 18 kilometers so you can actually increase that which is pretty handy to know um, if you increase it the B hull you actually have you know good hit points overall um, if you had the standard uh, hull of the rigger, which is only 47,300 health pool in comparison to 50,500 It's only a like of 3,200 difference in health pool um, There's a lot of you know like differences between it the, the first one and the um, the later uh, B hull type, but there is some benefits about it no doubt with more survivability, air defense, as well as uh, maneuverability. Um, this ship can be pretty much well equipped with the defensive AA as well as hydroacoustics uh, if you want to choose one or the other. Radar has actually got an option to have a spotter aircraft instead uh, or have a fighter aircraft or just um, have plane or radar. Plane or radar is around about 12 km range and it's pretty decent all around to use so it really comes down to your own preference and choice i would recommend you know definitely you know doing that in the long run um 
looks like I can quickly mount it up and I just did <laughs> but uh, that is the rigger uh, the rigger's ca camo on this thing is pretty decent um, it is uh, a nice you know um, XP battle returns for everything on the ship I would really highly recommend you you know taking this baby for a run um, with the captain commander skills build I would recommend definitely have pirate ignition added if you want to um, Grease the Gears is nice to have um, if you wanted but it's not necessary because the gun speed is pretty good however if you want to switch between um, a shell type this would be my recommendation I would go with gun feeder then pirate ignition and then I would probably consider having you know the consumables enhancements for your radar and hydro um, and then you know have uh, heavy AP shells because they actually cause more damage um, but I already proven that without doing it on the commander anyway <laughs> and then outnumbered and also consumer is pretty cool too but uh, everything else above that it's really up to you but anyway, so uh, I think that's actually pretty cool. Um, so yeah, folks, I mean, like, uh, if you really enjoyed it, uh, I did. I mean, like, I love uh, showing this uh, ship off to you. But definitely, um, the Rigger is a definite battleship killer and rival to worry about. Just make sure you, when you go and see, when you see a Rigger. My best advice is not to go too close to it but get rid of it as soon as possible. If you see it, work together to get rid of it quickly because the rigor can cause havoc, as I showed in this video. Anyways, please stay safe, take care, and thank you for watching.